the Brooklyn Nets. Let's let's dive into that one right now because yeah. no matter what we saw last night, um, and we saw a great game last night, and no matter what may happen in the coming days, there's the sense uh, from the NBA fan writ large that if Kyrie and Harden and Durant are healthy, this thing yep. is all just rearranging deck chairs. What What is the sense from the Nets coming into this playoff series now against the Celtics? What do you have for me on that? I think the Nets are really comfortable with where they are from a health point of view, from a chemistry point of view. The one question that keeps popping up, and rightfully so for for people that want to find holes in this theory that the Nets uh, can't win a championship, would be the lack of playing time for the three together. But that's it. That's really the only thing that, that you could point towards. And these are three elite talents. I don't think it's going to be an issue with them developing a strong dynamic on the court, chemistry, working through some things potentially in this first round. They're not viewing it as a problem. I think there's been a, a little bit of a buildup from some within the NBA that the Nets have taken on this role as a villain which is fine. I think that that's actually a good thing. It's a good thing for the storylines, for the narratives to create interest. And maybe there is some truth to it because there are some people that don't like the way the nets were built or a super team, how that's formed. The reality is anyone that's been around the nets organization knows this didn't happen overnight. This took years. Uh, there was a very big culture shift and Sean Marks made this a desirable place to come to. You don't snap your fingers and just get great players. So there's a lot that goes into it. How this all plays out is a big part of the intrigue in the NBA playoffs. Can this group come together? And can they do it during the most important point of the season? They're going to be judged on what they do in the postseason. They had the best winning percentage in franchise history. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Nobody will remember that. They will be judged by their playoff results, and they know it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.